Let's talk about the simplified P10 form, which is being introduced by the Kenya Revenue Authority. This P10, it is not like the other form which we had uh, having it previously. The one which we had previous, they had a uh, section A, section B, section C, D, all that. But um, with this simplified one, we only have two sec we only have three sections. We have section um, section A, B, and C, and the last one, which is for the tax computation. So at least probably most uh, four, four sections. So they have compressed all the other worksheet in the previous uh, P10 Excel form into a more simplified way, which means this one will affect your payroll, it will affect some of the adjustment of your payroll. It will also affect uh, your CSV file. So you have to come up with a new CSV file. So let's have a look at it. Uh, some of the features which they have been introduced and the other ones which have been merged. So let's see it. So this is the new one, which um, section A, they have uh, where you put the PIN, identification number, the type of return, which is the original, and then um, head of this. If you go to the period, for example, let's say filing for which period? Filing for July or June. So let's say you're filing for June, 30th, December, 30th of June. And then for the previous P10 form, this section was not there. Now we have with this new one, which is, uh, do you have lump sum gratitude or areas of the fringe benefit? So this is what the carrier has much in the new Excel form from the previous one. So if you say this one, yes, you realize Let's put yes and also change it first to no. If you put yes or no, you realize you will only have two sections, B and E. That is for the tax due. And E and B for the employees or employee details or employer's details. So they are all the same. So if you come to this section B, some of other items here has been also removed. So we have a pin that it was there name of the employee, resident of the employee, type of employee. So all from column A to column D, they were all there. Now, column E has been introduced. This is the, with the person with disability, PWD. So it was there in the previous one as a separate worksheet. Now in this one, you have to provide here. So if you click yes here, if you click yes, you will be required to provide uh, exemption certificate number. You will be required to provide exemption certificate now number. So if it is no, then you can see this one is being deactivated. Is being deactivated. So when you, if that if it happens that you have them, make sure that you include this one. And then we have column G. We have column G for the total tax cash value of the benefit. These are the benefits, which it was not, it was there, but uh, I still be there also. And then the type of housing, it's also there. It, wa it was there also and it is here also. And then to other benefits. So, uh, so column O, share and save other pension retirement and the mortgage. So the mortgage also has been introduced here, mortgage interest, which you also need to go to know the tax limit of this mortgage interest so that um, so that when uh, <clears throat> you get an employee who has all these benefits and all these contributions, you'll also know how much is the mortgage limit per month, per year, so that uh, you need to know how much are you capturing and how much is going to be taxable. So all this information, you have to research as an accountant or as a person doing the tax consultant service. So we see it later. So for affordable, it was there, it is there also. Monthly, it is there also. So you will find that uh, 
column X, it was there, column Y, it is there. So which mean this has changed your CSV format. That PWD, the person with disability has changed your CSV format. So you need to have a new CSV format. So you can download it from the um, KRA portals, but they have not yet activated as of now. If you go there, you cannot find it. It is just there as figures. So we got a payroll, which we have already updated our payroll, which will give you this CSV. You just need to fill your detail and you will get this CSV. For example, if I try to my, import my new CSV in this Excel, let's see if it will work. So if you go to the section B, employment or employees, and come to the import CSV, it will direct to where there is a CEO CSV. So you can see our payroll, our new Excel temporary payroll has got this a new CSV. So what we will do, we will open a new worksheet here and then copy the data from our payroll. So once we copy this data from payroll, then we paste here, delete the headings, also, I have to copy first as a values so that um, we don't interfere with the formulas. So I will copy as values, no formulas. I will delete the headings, which I have it here. And then also delete this empty one. So, and then I will delete this column A. Now I think my CSV is okay to be imported. So I will save now as a CSV. It is from our payroll. So make sure to get this template of a new payroll, which it cost only 1000 shilling for you to get this template of a Excel payroll. So I will go to import, click import. Can see I have a new CSV here with the previous from the previous one. So I will click new. And you can see my CSV has already been imported. My CSV is already been imported. So I want only to check uh, the, the assessment side, our assessment side, and the, the carrier assessment side. We see if it is if it is matching. Let's give it. A time is yes, okay, so we can go to the last section where you can see. So you have to see this monthly is the one to which maybe our sheet has not picked or it is not picking this one. So they have not yet really do this to be functionally. So if you import, you realize they will omit this, which you can put this one, it is not much so that uh, they can match with whatever they have calculated and whatever you have calculated here. So that is it. And whatever you realize also you have seen in this one is that we don't have the section of um, housing levy. The housing levy has been abolished and has been what included in this one. So this Excel will count automatically the number of employees you have there. They will calculate by the rate of the housing levy 2.75%. And then it will give you that one. The way they have been doing it for NITA, they also do the same with this. So you, they have uh, removed a lot of information. So make sure to click the link below to download your new Excel or call us in that number which uh, it is there to get a new Excel payroll, which we have already updated these changes of CSV, CSV file. So don't wait for time deadline to come, just uh, order now so that um, you get practice to use it as of now. So also don't forget to comment on the comment section and also give a thumb, give a subscribe, give a like to our video. So thank you so much.